many people are unsure of whether they need to file taxes or not. The amount of money one needs to make to file taxes depends on several factors, including age, income, and filing status. In general, the Internal Revenue Service IRS requires that individuals file a tax return if their income exceeds a certain threshold. For the tax year 2023, the minimum income required to file a tax return varies based on the individual's filing status. For single taxpayers under the age of 65, the threshold is $12,950. For married couples filing jointly, the threshold is $25,900. However, if one spouse is over the age of 65, the threshold increases to $27,150. These thresholds are adjusted annually for inflation, so it's important to check the current year's requirements. It's important to note that even if an individual's income falls below the minimum threshold, they may still want to file a tax return. For example, if they had taxes withheld from their paycheck or if they qualify for certain tax credits, they may be eligible for a refund. It's always best to consult with a tax professional or use tax software to ensure that all necessary forms are filed correctly and on time. Tax filing thresholds. When it comes to filing taxes, the amount of money you make plays a significant role in determining whether you need to file a tax return. The Internal Revenue Service IRS sets income thresholds that help determine whether an individual needs to file a return or not. Here are the income limits for different filing statuses. Income limits for single filers. If you are single and under 65 years old, you must file a tax return if your gross income is at least $12,400 in 2020. However, if you are over 65 years old, the threshold increases to $14,050. If you earn less than these amounts, you are not required to file a tax return, but you may still choose to do so to claim certain tax credits or receive a refund. Income limits for married couples. For married couples filing jointly, the income threshold is $24,800 in 2020 if both spouses are under 65 years old. If one spouse is over 65 years old, the threshold increases to $26,100, and if both spouses are over 65 years old, the threshold is $27,400. If you and your spouse earn less than these amounts, you are not required to file a tax return, but you may still choose to do so to claim certain tax credits or receive a refund. Income limits for head of household. If you are a head of household, you must file a tax return if your gross income is at least $18,650 in 2020 and you are under 65 years old. If you are over 65 years old, the threshold increases to $20,300. If you earn less than these amounts, you are not required to file a tax return, but you may still choose to do so to claim certain tax credits or receive a refund. Income limits for dependents. Dependents who are claimed on someone else's tax return also have their own income thresholds. If you are a dependent and your earned income is at least $12,400 in 2020, you must file a tax return. If your earned income is less than $12,400, but your unearned income such as investment income is more than $1,100, you must also file a tax return. However, if your earned and unearned income is less than these amounts, you are not required to file a tax return. Knowing the income thresholds for your filing status is crucial in determining whether you need to file a tax return. If you are unsure about your filing status or income threshold, it is always best to consult with a tax professional or use the IS's online tools to help determine your filing requirements. Additional tax filing considerations. Self-employment income. If you are self-employed, you will need to file taxes if you earn more than $400 in net income. This is because self-employed individuals are responsible for paying both the employee and employee and employer portion of Social Security and Medicare taxes. In addition, self-employed individuals may be eligible for a variety of deductions and credits, such as the home office deduction or the self-employment tax deduction. It is important to keep detailed records of all business expenses and income to ensure accurate tax filing. Special Situations there are certain situations that may require you to file taxes even if your income falls below the filing threshold. For example, if you received unemployment benefits or sold a property, you may need to file a tax return. Additionally, if you are a dependent on someone else's tax return and earn more than $12,400 in 2020, you will need to file a tax return.
it is important to review the IRS guidelines and speak with a tax professional if you are unsure about your filing requirements. Benefits of filing even if not required Even if you are not required to file taxes, there may be benefits to doing so. For example, if you had taxes withheld from your paycheck, you may be eligible for a refund. Additionally, filing a tax return can help establish a record of income, which may be useful for obtaining loans or credit in the future. It is important to note that failing to file taxes when required can result in penalties and interest charges. It is always best to review the IRS guidelines and speak with a tax professional to ensure compliance with tax laws.